Havana sasa wanasema wakili Miguna Miguna alijipata pabaya kwa kutokubali tu kuheshimu sheria. Gavana Anderetu Mureithi kutoka Laikipia amesema Miguna anapaswa kuheshimu sheria hata atakaporejea tena humu nchini. Vile vile mwenzake kutoka Turkana Josephat Nanoka amesema kuwa ni muhimu kwa mtu yoyote kuzingatia umoja wa Kenya akilitaka taifa kujiepusha na siasa za migawanyiko. Walikuwa kizungumza wakati wa mazishi ya mwanaharakati wa mazingira Naftali Mwiruri sehemu ya Laikipia. You do not follow the law. Uh, you, you cannot then have uh, the moral high ground you're looking for uh, to accuse us governments of not respecting your rights. Um, the, the fundamental principle for you and for your rights is for you to respect other people's rights. So you cannot say that as governments we should break the law only to please you. Iyo haiwezekani. No matter the fact that uh, we may be having disagreements, political disagreements, even over elections, even on so many other issues we may differ, but we can't go to, to tear up the country because we belong to this country, it is all ours, and uh, we must own it up, and we must find ways on how we can be able to negotiate conflicts and be able to reach an uh, 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 unacceptable uh, uh, way forward. Kijana Benson Chacha Masubu anayetuhumiwa kwa lagai wa bunge na mawaziri pesa ataendelea kuzuiliwa kwa siku nne ili kutoa fursa kwa uchunguzi zaidi kufanywa. Uamuzi huu wa mtazamaji ulitolewa na Hakimu Christine Njagi aidha unatoa fursa kwa uchunguzi wa kimatibabu kufanyiwa chacha baada ya wakili wake Joe Bangeresa kusema kuwa mshukiwa huyo ana matatizo ya kiakili. Hapo awali maafisa upelelezi walikuwa wamemtaka chacha kuzuiliwa kwa siku saba ripoti ya matibabu kutoka hospitali ya Madhari itawasilishwa tarehe tisa baadaye mwezi huu wakati ambapo chacha tafikishwa tena mahakamani na wazazi katika shule ya upili ya St Thomas Raganga mjini Kisi wamevamia shule hiyo wakimtaka mwalimu mkuu wa shule hiyo kuhamishwa Wazazi hao wanadai kuwa mwalimu huyo Bill Agola amesababisha hali ya masomo katika shule hiyo kudorora. Wazazi hao waliokuwa na ghadhabu walifunga afisi ya mwalimu huyo chumba cha walimu na vile vile lango kuu la shule hiyo wakitaka malalamishi yao kusikilizwa. Huku akimlaumu mwalimu mkuu ambaye amekuwa kiongoza shule hiyo kwa miaka ishirini kwa kupungua kwa idadi ya wanafunzi. sasa samani atujapata mtoto mwenye anaenda university hata college unatoa tu pesa ya pembeni ndio mtoto aende hiyo college hii ni sure gani tunaita mahitaji masuri na mwalimu anaendelea kuturudisha nyuma instead of uh, improving the school is killing the school the population of the school when he joined the the the, 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 the here the, the population was about 300 students By now we have only 90. They have run away. Watoto hata watoto msasi akiambia mtoto anataka kuchukua shule hapa yetu hapa karibu. Because of what wale wanasikia kutoka hapa. Watoto wanakataa. Na wale wasasi wengine ambao wanajua wanakataa wale watoto wao hapa. So the school is running down and it might be closed because of not having enough children. This school has been so much affected by leadership so we are requesting the ministry of education through our memorandum <coughs> that they come and inspect the school that they come and audit the school we are tired of one teacher for over 20 years poor performances for over the years and the misuse of public funds It is terrible if you can go behind the classrooms and see the type of uh, structures we have. Malalamishi yenu wakati tumeona imefika kwa watu wa vyombo vya habari namna hivi. Hiyo imefika Nairobi tayari. So na kisha malalamishi yenu Nairobi imefika. 
wakati mmeniona hapa saa hii nimepata habari kuna malalamishi hapa saa hii napeleka kwa kaunti ikitoka kwa kaunti kwa kurgezi wa uh, wala wanashughulika na masomo jioni iko Nairobi lakini ya, ya hawa itatangulia yangu Nairobi <laughs> Kwa hivyo kwa hivyo saa hizi na wasi nataka kutafuta eh, principal wa hii shule msimamishi msimamizi wa hii shule principal diongee na eh alafu tufikie utaratibu vile hawa wanafunzi watarudi shule lakini malalamishi yenu ikiendelea kushughulikiwa ni baadhi ya taarifa ambazo tunazifuatilia mtazamaji na taarifa zaidi zitakuja kiu kamilifu mwendo wa saa moja wakati wa taarifa za KTN leo. Unaendelea kutazama kipindi cha jukwaa la KTN na pumua kidogo tu mtazamaji lakini kwenye muda usokuwa mrefu nitarudi tuanze majadiliano yetu ambayo yanahusiana sana na masuala ama lile swala la kupigwa marufuku ukataji wa miti hapa nchini Kenya tutakuelezea kiundani shughuli hizo zinaendelea vipi kufikia sasa sasa baada ya marufuku hii kuanza je kuna chochote ambacho kimeafikiwa na katika miaka inayokuja mbili yani itakapofika mwaka mbili na thelathini je Kenya itaweza kuafikia ile asilimia kumi ya misitu hili ni swala ambalo tutakalo lijadili tukiwa na wasimamizi wakuu ambao wanahusiana sana na masuala ya misitu hapa nchini kwa hiyo usiende mbali tutarudi kwenye muda usiokuwa mrefu